Amen. Brother Gary, who do you have? Heavenly Father, we do count it a blessing to come to your table yeah. to feast at your, <coughs> your word. And Lord, yeah. we ask you to give us an abundance of that today. Lord, bless the pastor. Bless one Miss Laura as they lead and guide us. Lord, uh, be with them. And also, I, Lord, I ask you to be with each and every one that's in here today. To listen to your word and take your word into account. Lord, it is special. It is wonderful. Yes, yes the greatest thing. Lord, we just praise your name now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
and you can get on there, put the state in, and I tried putting my name in there, and I was so disappointed. <laughs> there was nothing. I think I'm going to try Kentucky, because that's where we lived there before. I might try South Dakota. I don't, I'm looking for it. I, if it's mine, I want it, don't you? But we find in her story, God had given them the property. It was already theirs. We find that, uh, a fact, a uh, long time ago he promised. He promised the fathers, it said there as we read. You can go over to Numbers chapter 13, and you'll find that uh, God said, I gave you the land. This is 40 years earlier. I've given this land to you. Go get it. Well, you know the story there. They went in there. They said, we can't. We can't. They're, they're big people down there. They're giants down there. We can't do it. Caleb stood up and he said, let's go possess it. We can do it. God has already given it to us. Forty years later, we come to this text here. They're at the same time and God delayed them 40 years because of disbelief. But here we find there the same setting. And in, instead of unbelief, we're going to find, you know what? I believe that land over there is ours. You know all we got to do? Just claim it. Just claim it. This morning I want to share what has God given you that you've not taken. What has God given you that you have not taken? The first thing I, I believe that he's given us, and praise God for this, the Bible said the wages of sin is death. That's bad. You know what? We've all, in that state, we've all had sin. And you know where we're headed for? Death. We're headed from separation from God. There's a place called hell. But the Bible says, but there's a gift yeah. of God Amen. is eternal life. Amen. It didn't say, well, there's a work you can get involved in that'll get you to heaven. There's not a payment that you can pay to get there. It says it's a gift of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We find that that happened some 2,000 years ago when Jesus was on the cross. What did Jesus say on the cross? He said, it's finished. I paid the price. It's done. I paid the price for your sin, for the whole world's sin. Yeah. Jesus paid for it. That's right. Thank you, Lord. And you know what? It's out there to be claimed. Right. I want to convince you, a lot of folks have a hard time with this grace and praise that grace is a, is a miracle, isn't it? Yeah. Amen. Praise, praise the Lord. We find in, in Ephesians, we know this, this passage here, Ephesians chapter 2, uh, verse 8, it says, For by grace, I like that grace, yes. for by grace are you saved through faith, yeah. and not just because you're here doesn't mean you're saved. you got to claim it. Through faith, it says, and not of yourselves, but it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. I get tired of talking to folks. You say, are they saved? Well, say, I'm trying. I'm being good. I'm a good person. You're boasting. You can't boast about being saved. I can only boast on the one who shed his blood on the cross for me. Amen. As I thought about this salvation that God has given us, a wonderful gift, and it's, it's being unclaimed. Why? Why is it being unclaimed? It's like all those that are out there. No one has told them that it's out there for the taking. I'm trying to investigate. I'm investigating those unclaimed uh, things. I'd like to find some of that. I don't know, maybe some long lost cousin or something left something. You know what? It's out there. If you just claim it, amen. You'll find the number one reason the world not take because they don't realize it's there. I want you to know it's there for the take. But you know, also, I believe there's many reasons why folks don't take it. Some don't think they need it. I want you to get that out of your mind. You need it. You need Jesus. Our kids need to be told they need Jesus. Oh, just don't be a good girl, a good boy. Praise God, we need to do that, but that won't get you to heaven. Praise God. If I had a cure for cancer, if you heard about a cure for cancer, and you say, you just come on down here to the clinic and you can get the cure, you know what you'd do? You'd run down there. Mm. But you know I got something better. It's a cure for death. Amen. Amen. It's a cure for death, 
Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible said that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall what? Be saved. Amen. In Hebrews chapter 2, though, it says, verse 3, it says, How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? My God has given you. He's given the world. Have you taken it? I'm glad to tell you the day in my life I took it. Did you take it? Woo, it was there for the taking. It's no longer in plain. It's there for, it was there for me. It's there for you. And yet we have a world that goes through this life and they don't claim it. Well, what has God given you that you've not taken? Praise God, I'm glad I took his salvation. Well, then I, I thought about uh, what maybe he's given us something we haven't taken. Maybe it's the situation you're in. You know, everyone's got a situation. We find in our story here, Joshua had a situation. In Joshua chapter 6, verse 2, it was Jericho. And in chapter 6, verse 2, you know what God says? I've given Jericho. You know what that tells me? They haven't even been in a battle. They haven't even got over there. They haven't even confronted them. But God had already promised them, Jericho is yours. That was quite a situation. They had, that was a battle. As I think about in our own lives, the, we find, you know what? The Bible says the battle is the Lord's. Yeah, amen. You try to handle it, you're going to fail. But He already gives us the victory. It's there just to claim it, amen. I think about trust and obey. Let's just take it. Let's just claim it. I don't know what situation you're in, but sometimes the battles of life, they come in many different forms, and many have different ways of trying to deal with the situation. It's a sad world that we live in. Some go to drugs. We live in a world that's it's greater drugs today than it's ever been. Some go to alcohol and say, boy, I need a drink. I just got, I don't know how to handle this. And you know, I read in the song the Madison paper last night, it made me think about this. You know how much of the world goes to and is increasing is suicide. Yeah. And you know what I think about all those folks that committed suicide? I want them to realize there's something unclaimed over here. Whatever situation you have, my God is able to handle it. Amen. Yeah. Indiana alone, it, I was reading there, uh, every eight hours in Indiana, somebody commits suicide. That's what we know about. Every eight hours. I was reading, they said, every, uh, as cancer in, in the state, it's not increasing. It's just stay steady, pretty much the percentage of cancer. But you know, there's one thing that is increasing, it's suicide. Yeah. And oh, you hear about this. We find a young person, an old person, whatever it is. And we find, a, I want them to know. I want them to realize there's something unclaimed. They never claimed it. He's able to get us through whatever situation it is. You know, by the way, what the Bible tells us, and you know what we fail to do, is ask. That's right. Yeah. It says ask, and you receive. It says we have not because we ask not. Oh, how we need to ask this morning. He's able to do it. Whatever your situation, whatever worry you have, whatever trouble that you're facing, whatever is keeping you up at night, praise God, we can ask. Jesus says, said to, to this, the crowd there, said to you that are heavy laden, he says, come unto me, yes. and I will give you rest. I heard in the Sunday school they use that verse, he's able to do far more abundant than what you ask. He can do more than you even ask. It's unclaimed. Let's reach into the unclaimed area and get that worry. Give it to the Lord here this morning. He can handle it. Yeah. The Bible says he won't put, uh, it talks about the trial. Let me just read it for you. I don't know if I'm going to get it wrong here. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. We know this. And we kind of, we sometimes we quote it wrong. We say, well, God won't put on me more than I can handle. That's a lie. That's right, yeah. Most of the time, you've got more on you than you can handle. Yeah. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as common to man. 
But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with, it says with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that you may be able to bear it. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Amen. You know what? He's already given us a way out. Whatever we're going through. It's already, the way is out. It's already there. Amen. All we have to do is, is claim it. Amen. Reach over and ask and say, Lord, get me through this. Praise God. He said, Jericho's already yours. Don't worry about it. It's unclaimed property, but it's yours. Amen. You know, this morning we need to reach into that area of unclaimed and give it to Him. Receive what he already has promised us that he will do. Help us this morning. Well, what has God given you that you've not taken? Salvation, I hope you've taken it. Mm -hmm. Your situation, I hope you take that, that unclaimed area. He's able to get you through. It may seem too hard, but it's not too hard for him. The third thing I, I looked at here, what I, I thought he's given us, you know, and this one may not be too popular, but you know what God has given us all? Service. Give us service. Did you know he's given us all a ministry? Yeah. I think it, if you missed Sunday school this morning, you missed a good Sunday school class. Amen. You'll find uh, uh, he's given us all. We're not all the same. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 12 to present your body as a living sacrifice, which is what? Your reasonable what? Service. Yeah. And then it goes on in that chapter. It says, uh, our, we're all part of the church. We're all part of the body of Christ. We're not all the same. That's right. But we all have a service. Amen. And you know what he wants us to do? It's been unclaimed. Unclaimed. We, uh, you know, the, the Bible says faith. You might have faith, but it said without works. You know what it is? Dead. Dead. You know what tells me? God has more for us. Yeah. He's got more for you. Praise the Lord. I tell you, nothing worse than a stale. Stale Christian. Lukewarm Christian. And I tell you, you want to have zip in your life? You know what he did? He told Moses. Moses, God had already had a plan for Moses, his service. God knows what he's doing. He's not going to ask you to do something you can't do. That's right. Now, he might ask you something that you think I can't do. He asked Moses and said, Moses, lead my people. That's right. And Moses said, I can't do it. Moses, I've already given it to you. Hmm. Sometimes that's how we are with serving the Lord. We think, I don't think I can. God has already taken care of all those details. I don't know what it is this morning that he's given you that we haven't taken. You know, it's good to, to know, uh, you know, when we, we're, we're doing something for the Lord, we know we're in his will. Is it good to be in his will? Amen. I tell you, I know what it's like to be out of his will. Mm -hmm. Now, be honest, sometimes I feel like getting out of the will. Do you ever feel like that? Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, I'm over it. Now maybe you don't feel that way. I, now if you're doing something for Christ, I tell you, it ain't going to be easy. Right. And you're going to say, uh, I don't know, that's too much. You know, that's what Moses a little lawyer around. He said, I've had enough of these troubles, these murmurers, these complainers. I'm done with them. That's what he said. But you know what? God had already took care of that. Right. God is going to take care of it. Amen. It's unclaimed. Let's reach into that area where we find the purpose, the plan for our lives. Right. Now, praise God, if the purpose of my plan was to work at Rotary Lift over there for, you know, what my 30 years or whatever I had over there and the years before. You know what? You know what? If you go over there now, it's only been six months. There's people, they don't have a clue who I was. They forgot about me. They might see my name on some papers and some documents and things like that. Say, well, who's that? That's not what life is about. When I stand before God, I would say, you know what? I'm real faithful to Rotary Lift. Who cares? Mm. Now, don't get me wrong. We need to work and work hard and 
the, 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 you know who the boss is? It's him. Yeah. Yeah. But there's more to life. There's a bigger plan. There's a higher calling that God has, and he has it for all of us. And you may not, maybe you just need to be praying. Pray for me. Pray for one another. Amen. Maybe it's your family. I don't know what it is. Uh, some can sing. Some can shout. Uh, some can cry. Amen. But there's a ministry. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels good, amen, to be in the will of God. Well, if you if you claimed it, it's out there. It's out there for the taking. Praise the Lord. What has God given you that you've not taken? I hope you've taken salvation this morning. I hope you've taken that situation, whatever you have. Don't don't leave without just just taking that unclean. Give it to Him. He's able. Maybe service. Say, well, I don't know what can I do. The Lord will show you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Another area I thought I. How's your, how's your saintliness? Anybody saintly here? <laughs> now, biblically, we're saints. Yeah. All right. But don't come, go out the door and say, well, thank you, Saint Brad. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that, okay? But through the blood of Christ, we're saints. Amen. 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 Thank, thank you, Lord. You. And you know what? Uh, we've got to work on our sainthood. Amen. Anybody got some problems with that? Yeah. You know, the Bible did tell us, you know what God gave us when we got saved? He gave us some fruit. Mm. Anybody got any fruit? Amen. You say, I don't know. I, I heard in Sunday school some said they had a hard time with love. Anybody have a hard time loving one another? Well, I, this could maybe be good to love you, but I tell you what, as I thought about this the other day, I was coming back from Scottsboro, and there's one thing that gets under my skin, one thing that can get me all fired up. There's one thing that I don't know, it can, the devil is pushing buttons. It's when somebody's right behind me. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I'm already going five miles an hour over the speed limit. Yeah. Yeah. And they're right on my bumper. <laughs> there's something inside me that just starts to rage. It, it is. Yeah. Now I know you're all saintly and you haven't you don't have that problem like I do, but you've got other problems. And you know what? I say, I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. God gave us a love that's of God that He put in us when we got saved. And there's a territory there that we can reach to, amen, and pray to God say, I need more of that love. This morning I need more love. We just, it's there for the taking. God already gave it to us. Right. He gave us all that we need. Hmm. Sometimes we're just not very joyful. We let the things of the world get us down. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. You'll get up in the morning and, and good night. I don't know. I, I mean, you might start out good, but again, maybe it was that guy on your, your heel on that, that car. I'll get to work, and by the time I got to work, I was fired up. Hmm. And my joy wasn't like it should have been. My smile wasn't like it should be. And you know what? There's a joy that's better than the joy of the world. It's supernatural, and it's for the taking, amen. When you're going through the valley, when you're going through that hardship, when you think, how I'm going to do it, there's still a joy that's there for the taking. Amen. He said, it's already there. It's been there. I gave it to you. You find there's lots of fruits there. We could get on every one of them, amen. Long-suffering, oh boy. How's your patience? Hmm? Hmm? You're already saying, Brother Brad, hurry up. <laughs> That's right. That's how we are. But I'm going to tell you why. Are you saying I'm having a hard time with those kids? I'm having a hard time with that here. I tell you, yes, your flesh has a hard time with all these things. But there's a supernatural God that has given you a fruit. He said, I can already taken care of it. Would you just reach out and grab it? You know, all those fruits are supernatural. <clears throat> There's a lot of them. You know, just, you know what I thought? This is kind of a funny one. Goodness. Anybody have a hard time being good? Hmm. You do? Your flesh doesn't always want to be good. That's right. But there's, a, there's enough goodness out there that he says it's unclean. Why don't you try to get some more of it? Why don't you grab hold of it? It's like, you'll be good. You'll, you'll handle it. You can get through it. Praise the Lord. This morning, God's given us. He's given us so much. You know what? We haven't taken it. It's for the taking. 
I got one last one. And boy, I like this. And I'm glad. I tell you, I didn't always have this in my Christian walk. But God wants us to claim it. And you know what that is? Sureness. How sure are you this morning? First, 2 Corinthians 10, 15 talks about, Paul said, your faith be increased. You know God has given us enough faith to get us through. You know how we are. We worry. We fester. <coughs> Let me read for you in John chapter 14, verse 27, the last verse I'm going to share here. Last, John chapter 14, verse 27 said, Peace I leave with you. I think uh, the Lord's peace must be pretty good, don't you? Well, I don't know. I want something better. You ain't going to find better peace than what comes from above. Amen. He said, I leave with you. You've already got it. The peace with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. There's a time when I didn't understand all about salvation, and I, I, I believed I was saved, but my flesh had a problem being good. And so then my flesh and your devil would say, ah, ha, ah, you're, you're lost again. Hmm. And boy, that's, that's a bad feeling, folks. But you know what God gave me? A sureness. And you know what? I'm glad for the day I, I took that. It was there all the time. I didn't realize it was there. I, I was worried. I, my heart would get troubled. But praise God, I'm glad to tell you what Peter says, we're kept. That's right. Amen. Amen. Boy, yesterday we went to that Lanesville and I had two grand boys. And they wanted my hands, both of them. But then there's other times. They want to go on their own. You ever do that? Mm. I said, you get over here. We're crossing this road over here. Here's a tractor coming. There's whatever. And you know what? I didn't say, here, hold my finger. <laughs> now, if they hold my finger, oh, they have a pretty good little tight grip. That ain't much. You know what I do? I grab them by the arm. And I hang on. And even they're trying to pull. They can't get away from me. <laughs> And praise God, I have a heavenly Father that I learned He's sure. Praise God, He's got a hold of me. Amen. Amen. I'm sure of my salvation. And not only that, praise God, I tell you what, I'm sure of the situation. Amen. Jericho, the walls are coming down. All we're going to do is walk around and blow a long, long horn at the end. But you know what? My God's going to do it. That's right. When they blew that trumpet, the wall came tumbling down. Yeah. They didn't get out there with hammers. God had already given it to them, praise God. Maybe it's your situation. I don't know what it is. The sureness. <coughs> you say, I can't change. No, you can't, but God can help us. Yeah. I tell you what, God didn't give us a, a salvation of fear. He gave us something, amen. He gave us salvation, and it's for the taking. I'm glad one day I took it. Yeah, amen. amen. But the fact is, there's other things that I shared. You know what I need to do this morning? I need to reach out and claim it. I need to believe he's going to get me through it. That one that maybe we got to love him. we got to love him. we got family members that don't know the Lord. And you know what you do? You talk to them, and it just seems like... They don't want to hear. You got neighbors, and you know they just kind of laugh at you. You know what? I, we ought to love them. You know what? My God is able. Yeah. Amen. There's more to grab this morning. Yeah. Help us. Let's all stand. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you so much for what you've given us. Lord, you give us much more than we deserve. In fact, if we don't deserve being given anything, but Lord, you died on the cross and shed that blood. And how wonderful, Lord, it is. Lord, this morning, help us, Lord, if we've never claimed that salvation. It's been there for 2,000 years. It's there for the taking. And yet, we've got folks all around. They don't take it. They don't think about it. 
It's out in the back. They have, they, no one's even told them it's there to be taken. Help them, us, Lord, that we might share and point it. Help them to realize it's for the taking. Maybe we're here and we've got a lover. Maybe it's a husband. Maybe it's a daughter. Maybe it's a son. Maybe it's an aunt and an uncle. Maybe it's a neighbor. Lord, this morning, I want them to know uh, this morning that it's there to take. Oh, how sad it is to have unclaimed, unclaimed. Lord, we know our situations. Everyone here has got a situation. In fact, we're honest, Lord, we, we get worried. We lose sleep over it. Lord, help us to claim it. Maybe we're going through something hard and it just seems too hard. We don't know how, where to turn. Lord, help us, Lord, to realize that the battle is yours. You're going to take care of it. Have your way, Lord, this morning. Give us that sureness. Maybe we say, well, I hope I'm saved. I hope I'd be okay. No. The Lord wants to say, yes, I know. I know without a shadow of a doubt. You'll get me to the other side. Have your way, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. With every head bowed and every eye closed this morning, what's God given you? What is it that he's given you that you haven't taken? It's there for the taking this morning. you got to ask. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. He said, how shall we neglect such a great salvation? You know how we neglect it? We don't claim it. You know why people die and go to hell? Because they don't claim it. It was there all the time. He had a way of escape. You've got a situation this morning. What's he giving you? He's got enough. The Bible says he, he's able to do more than we ask. Let's, let's go out to that more area. Say, Lord, help me. Take that worry away. I'm going to claim it here this morning. We're going to get through this situation. Maybe we need to work on our saintliness. I know we need it. I need it. We all do. He's able to change. He's able to, to mold us, help us to be that clay that's moldable. He's the potter this morning. If you've got any doubts, he wants to make you sure this morning. What's he given? He's given it all. Brother O.J., would you close this, please? Blessed Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again, Lord, for allowing us to be in your house here today. And Lord, we pray that we have the understanding and the wisdom, Lord, to claim the gifts, Lord, that you have given us. And Lord, we pray that you'll guide and direct each and every one of us, answer each and every prayer request that was lifted up to you here today. Lord, we ask these things in your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.